Could blockchain electricity be the thing of the future? In today's video, we're going to be talking how a series of code can be added to your electricity that may allow you in the future to sell electricity to your neighbour. Or it could be to stop you from discharging free electricity you got from a public charger into your vehicle to grid vehicle to home system to make a profit. So let's first explain what blockchain is. In simplest terms, it's a form of code that can be embedded into the electricity network or device or wherever it's come from that's stored information in that electricity that may be a series of code of numbers. Now this series of code and numbers is completely meaningless as it's just a series of numbers, but this would be linked to a database or a generic table where they could look up that information and know exactly what it means. Now you could label all green power stations 007 in part of that blockchain and you could also maybe label coal and other dirty sources of energy 666 to indicate that they're not from clean renewable sources. Now we can go even further and we can add some time codes and date codes onto this so maybe the date the the month the year we could also go even further than put the time and we could also go even further and maybe add the number 237 at the end now what's that 237 well 237 was the national grid co2 level the day i wrote this script and that means that you have the day it was produced what type of source it was come from and the average grid national grid co2 at the time that that was produced now why could this information be useful well you could label a unique identifier after the 007 so 007 could be for solar and you could then have an identifying number so a series of code to identify what power plant it's come from and you could also have a unique code for everyone who's got their own micro generation solar on their roof and that's an advantage because if I'm not in during the day and I'm producing lots of solar energy and I'm exporting it to the grid, but I have a neighbour next door that's in all day working from home, he might want to buy that energy off me. And we could see the blockchain code leaving uh, mine, adding the blockchain code to say it's been generated by me. And we could see how much of that blockchain electricity went into his house and discharged, it got used by his appliances. We could work out exactly how many kilowatts he's used for my export. And I could have a direct peer-to-peer -peer price between that. I'd have to pay the National Grid a small cable charge for that distance of cable. But it means that the National Grid don't have to produce that power or turn any power grids on. It's using less of the network. It's using the local network. And as long as they're all on the same phase as you, you could literally select which neighbors are on your estate with on the same phase or in your local community and sell power directly. This could mean opening up new ways of working with energy companies and working with blockchains and making it better for people to use energy when they need it. Now at the start of the video I mentioned vehicle to grid chargers. Now the reason I mention this is I expect blockchain to be really really dominant in this area because let's say you have a car that's capable of vehicle to grid and you've charged up at work completely for free from works electricity or you've charged up at a local supermarket uh, for free because every little helps and that free electricity in your car is been generated during the worst dirtiest part of the grid the grid was over you know undersupplied over demanded and there was a lot of really dirty power stations turned on to meet that generation at that time and then you go home and you want to discharge that energy back into your house and let's just say the grid is now clean lots of green lots of wind energy and you're discharging dirty co2 uh, grid power that you generated just purely to power your home for a financial benefit. You've not helped the grid, you've not made it greener, uh, you've not done it to do any grid balancing, you've just purely done it out of a financial benefit to you. Now you could also use this grid just to power your house, so you, you could either discharge the grid for a profit and make money off this dirty energy, or you could power your house. Now in my mind, both of them are wrong if the grid power is cleaner. There's also some other things that we can consider in a second what we'll talk about, but at the moment there's nothing in the system that stops you doing exactly this with a vehicle to grid car. Blockchain, however, could mean that we could add a series of code to tell the charger at work that you've discharged at what rate and that the charger at home knows what you discharge. Now, this is important for lots of things because First of all, governments are looking at way of taxing electric vehicles and energy in different ways. And if you're receiving free energy from work and discharging it into your house for a profit or even to power your house, that could be counted as a benefit in kind under taxes, which means you should have to pay tax on the profit or free electricity that you've received for financial benefit to discharge 
for a payment. Now I did mention what if the grid's dirty when you're doing that. Now the grid could be the same CO2 or cleaner but there is some other benefits to blockchain which might benefit you as the user for blockchain to be added to your charge. Now for example let's say we stopped at a rapid charger and we paid 90p a kilowatt hour to charge up our electric car and then we took that electric home with us and we plugged into a vehicle to grid charger. Now would we want to charge our house at, with 90p a kilowatt hour electricity if the grid power is fairly clean and it is buying from the grid at say 30p a kilowatt would we want to discharge 90p electricity or buy it from the grid now personally i'd rather buy it from the grid than use that over expensive uh, electricity that we've, the, we've acquired at a rapid charger so the blockchain could say right this part of this portion of electricity has been very expensive this price tag we could add basically the price onto the blockchain another bit of code at the end to say this is cost 90p a kilowatt this costs a pound a kilowatt don't discharge this proportion of energy unless the export price or the buy-in price is higher now we could go one step further and we could have people that might say with their vehicle to grid chargers if any of the energy i've attained during the day contains code 666 don't charge my car or we could we could say if any energy that I'm going and charging up for comes from dirty power sources, don't put it in my electric car. I only want green energy. I only want to charge the car during green renewable energy uses. So in other words, even if you're on a 100% renewable tariff, doesn't necessarily mean the power coming down your power lines is from renewable sources. And if you have an electric car there that you don't need all the time, or it's always plugged in and you're only doing a couple of miles a week, you might say, right, if, it, if the power on the grid is... 666 then restrict the power to go to the car and only use power when it's from 007 code sources so there's one way of doing it now when i wrote this script i wrote this as a pure theory a guess a, a sort of a, a you know a fiction i wrote it as a fiction that i thought could could come true but i thought i want to check a couple of things on blockchain to see how far-fetched my idea is so i rang up a manufacturer of vehicle to grid chargers and i gave them my idea and said, is this feasible? And they actually told me they are currently working with a company that actually want to bring this in to their charges to stop the rapid charger situation I just spoke about. So they don't want to charge up their electric vehicles and then discharge the grid when they've paid more money for that electricity. So even though I wrote this as a pure fiction, there is a very good chance we might see this in 2022 or 2023 coming to vehicle to grid chargers. Now what's really important to me is making sure that the solutions we have with vehicle to grid benefit the grid and benefit the whole ecosystem of renewable power. However, some people just care purely about profit. Let me know what you think in the comments, What, which way down you're going, if you care about the profit, the grid, at the end of the day, to me, vehicle to grid chargers are there to support the grid and make power cheaper for everyone and more supportive. If people are stealing electricity for free and then exporting it for, for profit, there's a little bit, something a bit wrong about that. And I think we may see free charges disappear completely if that's what people end up doing. So if there is a portion of blockchain that could say, hey, this is free electricity, never export it, unless the company who gave you that free list to get a small portion of the profit if the grid is greener that there's another possibility of way it could work you let me know what you think down below in the comments thank you very very much for watching this week's video and uh, don't forget to subscribe like the video and i'll see you again next week goodbye